we try to contribute um, either in temple or something. So at times we see like people distributing prasad or uh, some money. But uh, I, I, I also go to temple at times. Uh, <laughs> but like I have seen uh, people who give food or blankets. The person who are receiving, they in turn sell it to someone. And I just ask someone like, uh, it's a cold, it's a cold shiv, you are shivering, but why are you selling it? So he uh, the lady said, Allah kamai, Allah de to hum kyu kamai. So that is sort of pathetic reason I felt like uh, the person who is given charity is making even worse situation. Like they are not even now doing it on their own. So at, at that time I felt really pathetic, like uh, one person helping to the society and another person is taking that help in a wrong way and using it for something like drugs or something. So in a way, whole of the like cas 69 situation. That's a, that we'll call it obscene emotion kind of a thing. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yes. I've served in Indian Army uh, around six years. So I was operating somewhere uh, in counterinsurgency operations and all. So it happened that we went for one of the operations where there was a one day walk. So once the operation started, so there was a casualty when the city got a bullet. So the guy was lying just in front of me and he has served with me for two years. So <clears throat> he was trying to say that, you know, when, see, when the blood started pouring out, so he was saying, Sir, mujhe bacha lo. I have a family, we have small kids to look after. So I had to carry on the operation because I was leading the operation. So, uh, uh, but I felt a little helpless and all because by that time we could evacuate him and bring him back. We lost him. So the guy was with me for two years. So I felt very bad. I was really helpless. I could not save him. Yeah, these are, these are emotions which really remain with us uh, sometimes almost throughout the life. So, moving on and keeping these, I mean, in a way wonderful emotions, on the other hand, sad experiences uh, really make us feel to do some things better, to do something and that is the moral value. So. So these emotions, which I'm glad to hear from different people, different kind of exp ex emotional experiences, uh, does establish that there is a very good connectivity between the moral values, human values, human virtues with the emotions. And that's why I would further say that the emotions can become from obscene to pure, from gross to subtle, uh, because what uh, you felt that moment, slowly that gross sensation, gross uh, emotion, that moment that you felt helpless, at that time it must be very intense. But now it has converted into subtle emotion in yourself because you will still want to not to let that kind of a incidence repeated or some such thing. So that's the good pure form of from gross emotion to subtle emotions, from demonic to divine emotions. And, and uh, these things bring us to, I will equate emotions with the medicine. And if the medicine taken in a right doses, it will cure you, it will help you to make a better world. But the, the medicine taken without the administered situation, you feeling the helplessness and things like that, they will be disastrous. So we, we do have to uh, convert the helplessness into the measured administered emotions, is what my conclusion would be on the emotional side of it. Uh, sir, most of the people that have been sharing experiences have been about the uh, among humans, I am I'm saying nobody is having any experiences uh, to share with, say, for plants, animals. I mean, at the end of the day, they are also living beings, and uh, we should have some emotional things towards them as well. So, I mean, could there be, uh, is it only that emotions are connected to humans only? Can't we, in a society, include uh, all the living beings no. and go ahead? I told you earlier itself that the varied emotions from preferential to universal is nothing but what I'm suggesting is it has to be universal. The moment we say universal, 
we have to feel the same way not only for human for all the universe the the good emotion is the universal emotion not the preferential emotion what you are talking is many times we prefer to have our express our emotion from human to human and that is what the moral value is the human value or human virtue is to convert that preferential emotion into universal emotion uh, considering the emotions which have been shared by the friends uh, i am having a one question that uh, uh, means uh, sometimes the situations leaves us in a dilemma that what to do and what not to do so in that situation what should be done and how the action should be taken no you have to have clarity of thoughts because you see it is not administered emotion that moment the moment you have confusion okay what should i do what should i not do that leads us to further chaos further bad things and basically i am discussion kar rahe hain to understand the human composition our minds uh, the way it reacts the way it thinks and how do we should react so isi ki kadi mein main aapke jawab shayad isme mil jaye humne piche baat ki aapko briefly pehle touch kiya that wisdom is what will make our emotions much more meaningful and remove all kind of confusion and and ignorance is opposite of the uh, of the wisdom and where is the ignorance coming from the lack of uh, information lack of understanding and lack of experiences this is where that leads into ignorance and ignorance is anti wisdom ek prince kisi acche साधु महात्मा के पास जाता उसके पास प्रणाम करने गया है उससे कुछ शिक्षा लेने के लिए गया है कुछ समझने के लिए गया है तो वो उसे पूछता है कि महात्मा आप मुझे बताइए कि परमात्मा क्या है गॉड क्या है एंड वेर इज लाइफ और वट इज लाइफ तो साधु उससे पूछता है कि भाई तुम कौन हो मुझे ये तो बताओ जरा पहले तुम कौन हो बोले सर मेरा नाम गजपति है मैं गजपति हूं उसने कहा कि भैया आई अप्रिशिएट दैट दैट इज योर नेम बट टेल मी हु यू आर ये तो आपने अपना नाम बताया बट हु यू आर तो उसका जवाब वो देता है सर मैं प्रिंस हूं एक राजकुमार हूं और वो जवाब सुनने के बाद वो कहता है दैट इज योर स्टेटस हु यू आर अब उसको समझ में आया प्रिंस को यार किधर बता रहा है पर साधु है बड़ा ज्ञानी है जानकार है तो उसने कहा सर मैं शायद एक ह्यूमन ह्यूमन बीइंग हूं उसने सोचा कि महात्मा ये सोच रहे हैं कि मैं अहंकार में हूं कि मेरा नाम ये है मैं प्रिंस हूं वो हूं उनका सर मैं ह्यूमन बीइंग हूं तो वो कहता है कि यस यू आर ए ह्यूमन एंड नॉट ए बर्ड नॉट ए बीस्ट बट दैट इज द स्पीशी विच यू बिलोंग टू यू आर यू आर ए स्पीशी विच यू बिलोंग टू यू हैव नॉट येट टोल्ड मी हु यू आर तो उस पर अब वो बेचारा और परेशान है उसने रियलाइज किया कि भाई मैं तो सर्कल सर्कल में जा रहा हूँ कुछ समझ में नहीं आ रहा तो उससे फिर वो पूछता है कि जी मैं भी मे बी आई एम माय बॉडी माइंड एंड इंटलेक्ट कंपोजिशन ऑफ ऑल दिस थ्री डिफाइन मी एज ए पर्सन वो महात्मा से पूछता है वो कहता है नहीं 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 दे आर योर मटेरियल इक्विपमेंट्स योर बॉडी योर माइंड योर इंटलेक्ट they are they too they too belong to you your body belong to you your mind belong to you your intellect is developed by you so something which be belong to you cannot be you na then <laughs> usko fir bhi nahi samajh mein aaya so then he says that i now recognize sir that i don't know myself can you let me know who i am and how does that relate to my inquiry to the god पूछा तो मैंने आपसे ये था कि परमात्मा कौन है आपने मेरे को कंफ्यूज कर दिया 
So then he is answering, dear prince, you are the supreme self. The divine core of your person. The body, mind and intellect are mere vestures enveloping yourself. The self is known, different belief, maybe knowing different saying. Some belief says that it is Atman in Sanskrit, God in English, Allah in Urdu or something or the other. You will have to find it yourself within, through your own introspection. Through study, through reflection. So, we have to find our true self. The moment we find our true self, all these confusions and all these uh, things will go away.